Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Monday, January 15th, already at the middle of the month. It's hard to believe. Uh, we begin with this opening sentence from Malachi. From this rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among the nations, and in every place incense will be offered to my name and a pure offering, for my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. This is on page 12. We say together, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent. According to your promises, declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may not have a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins through repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips. And our lips shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And as you turn to page 29, there's a seasonal antiphon for Epiphany, and uh, we'll, this acts as a bookend for the uh, Renite, and so we'll uh, say this uh, antiphon. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Oh, come, let us adore him. And Venite is on page 14. Oh, oh come, come, let us sing, sing unto the Lord. Lord. Let, let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and sure us glad in him psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King of all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his passage, and the sheep of his The Lord has shown forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. We'll now have the psalm reading and an additional scripture reading. Today's psalm is uh, the first 18 verses of Psalm 37, which begins on page 314. We'll read the psalm responsively by half verse. Fret not yourself because of the ungodly. Neither be envious of those who are evildoers. For they shall soon be dried up like the grass and be withered even as the green herb. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and surely you shall be fed. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way unto the Lord and put your trust in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall make your righteousness as clear as the light and, and your just dealing as the new day. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do, Do not grieve yourself over the one whose way prospers, over the, the one, one who carries out evil counsels. Refrain from wrath and let go of anger. Threat not yourself, lest you be moved to do evil. For evildoers shall be rooted out but those who wait patiently for the lord they shall inherit the land yet a little while and the ungodly shall be clean gone you shall look for their place 
and they and shall they not be there. But the meek spirited shall possess the land and shall be refreshed with an abundance of peace. The ungodly plot against the just and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord shall laugh at them in scorn, for he says that their day is coming. The ungodly have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay those who walk right. Their sword shall go through their own heart and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than great riches of the ungodly. For the arms of the ungodly shall be broken. But the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the godly. And their inheritance shall endure forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our lesson today is a reading from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the seventh chapter, the 25th verse. Some of the people of Jerusalem therefore said, is not this the man whom they seek to kill? And here he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Christ? But we know where this man comes from. And when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. So Jesus proclaimed as he taught in the temple, you know me and you know where I come from, but I have not come of my own accord. He who sent me is true and him you do not know. I know him for I come from him and he sent me. So they were seeking to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him because his hour had not yet come. Yet many of the people believed in him. They said, when the Christ appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering these things about him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. Jesus then said, I will be with you a little longer and then I am going to him who sent me. You will seek me, and you will not find me. Where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying, You will seek me, and you will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come? On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, this really is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, why did you not bring him? The officers answered, no one ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus who had gone to him before and who was one of them, said to them, does your law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Dinius S and that is found on page 84, the Book of Common Prayer, page 84.
and I will say this by half verse. I'll read the asterisk and then you complete the verse on page 84. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is. And by your will, they were created and had their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood, you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation. A kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne. And to Christ the Lamb. Be worship and praise, dominion and splendor. Forever and forevermore. Amen. We'll continue with the Apostles' Creed on page 20. <clears throat> and we say the Apostles' Creed together on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed Amen. be thy name. Thy Amen. kingdom come, thy Amen. will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Amen. us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world. Grant that your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. We now have time for prayer, and on Mondays we pray for Christ the King. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we lift up our church and those who attend, our pastors, our staff, all who come through the doors of this church building. We know that the building is not necessarily the church. The church is us. But we know how this is a family a family created by you in love, a family that has people who are ill, people who are at doctor appointments, people who are aging very gracefully, actually, but people who are aging and finding it more difficult each and every day. And so, Lord, I ask that you hold this congregation tightly, that you give peace and comfort to those especially who are in hospitals or in rehab, who have recently come through um, illness and are still recuperating, 
those who are facing uh, surgeries, um, Lord, you walk with us each and every day. Help us to see you. Help us to hear your Holy Spirit and help us to rest knowing you are God and we are not. Thank you, Lord. Uh, today we'll continue with a prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.